Good day mates, welcome back to the channel and today I've hopefully got a couple of videos coming. Uh, first one is this unboxing. I've been lucky enough, well I say lucky enough, who knows how many got in the country before it all went to pot. The new Mini R uh, Stug with full interior. Uh, sadly, who knows when there'll be uh, another um, new mini art kit as they are based in Ukraine in Kiev. So, uh, yeah, this might be the last one for a while. So, uh, let's get down and have a little look at what's in the box. So let's start by looking at some paint schemes. First up is Sturmgeschutz Abteilung 189, Eastern Front, Spring 1943. Kind of a winterized colour out there. Second one is 21 Luftwaffen, Field Division, Adler Division. Russia Eastern Front Spring 1943 Panzer Grey I believe we would call that <clears throat> so that's the first two off to the back we've got 21 Luftwaffen Field Division Eastern Front, Spring 1943, which is pretty much the same as the last one. Pounds of grey again. Then we've got Sturmgeschutz Abteilung Gross Deutschland, Ukraine. How very apt. Spring 1943. I kind of like this camo pattern. pretty cool and finally obviously you can do your own there's no uh, rule that says you have to do it these Sturmgeschutz Abteilung 210 Eastern Front 1943 uh, looks like Dunkel Gelb and green squiggly stripey stuff that's all pretty bog standard now there's the colour call out on the back and what I like to do when there's so many colours is make myself a little cheat sheet with numbers so I know what's occurring what's in the box what I'm using. I've got all those colours anyway in MIG, uh, Vallejo, Tamiya, AK, so I've got all those colours. I'll just leave that on the, on the side in front of me when I'm painting so I don't have to keep getting to the back of that to see the cool out. Now, sprue map. Lots of sprues as you would imagine with a mini art full interior. Lots and lots and lots and lots. Lots and lots and lots and lots. Lots and lots and lots more. I make it 52 sprues plus the sprue for the figures which makes it 53. Plus the little uh, sprue for the PE, if you call it a sprue, 54. So 54 altogether. So let's have a little looky looky at those 54 sprues. Okay, first up, the usual mini art cardboard box for the uh, PE stuff. Nice little touch uh, 
to have a nameplate there so I might put it on a base <coughs> with that name paint on it painted not too much PE nothing over exaggerated or extortionately large amounts so I keep that back in the uh, cardboard box because it keeps it all nice and tidy So, what I like to do with the sprues is a bit geeky. I put a little tab on them with uh, Tamiya masking tape, and I also colour the um, the marking that's actually on the sprue. Just helps you to organise it a bit better. So I have all the sprues in the box next to me with all these little tabs facing me so I haven't got to dig through the box all I can do is just lift them up from this end find the number that I'm looking for pull it out and Bob's your mum's brother so that's the first sprue pretty much decent amount of Malarkey on there. There's the basket, I believe, for the spent shells. That's pretty tasty. Not bad at all. Bit of the breech there. I think this is all for the uh, main gun, that one. Next up is this one. Some more <coughs> for the main gun. I did notice quite a bit of flash on some of these parts when I've um, while I was sticking these little tabs on which is uh, not very good next up is this bit of engine malarkey going on fan belts and stuff now it, a lot of you will remember that I did start a Panzer IV with full interior mini art was it last year, early last year uh, when we was in lockdown and all that business being furloughed and all that malarkey and I, I just couldn't get my head around it could not get my head around it uh, every time I went to pick it up again and do a bit more painting it, it was just stressing me out so much so I gave it away to uh, Robert Rimmer of Rim's Models and uh, he made a cracking job of it. So if you go over to his uh, YouTube channel, <coughs> search out the Pounds of Four, you'll see what a great job he did of uh, the interior and the exterior. All right, crack on. Some more of the engine engine block the end pieces of the engine some more fan belt things some exhausts uh, here we go got a bit of C hook action and some S hook action and some tow cable ends wire cutters crowbar Crowbar, crowbar, excuse me, spanner, and a little bit of the jack there, which looks pretty bleh. Another little one, I've got no idea what that is, but there's lots of tiny little fragile pieces on there by the look of it. Another one there. I think these little ones. I think are all to do with the engine and the uh, gearbox and all that business inside. Ah, <coughs> here we've got the decals or decals, however you want to pronounce them. I personally say decals. 
but there's no right or wrong. You say whatever you want, boys. That's what they are. Clear parts on the back. So that stays in the bag until it's all ready to rock. And the infamous tracks. Anybody who's seen any of my videos know that I hate these, but I'll give them a go. Maybe I'll try some frills. I don't know. I'll see how I get on with these. And they can go over there. Some more little teeny tiny ones here. Ah, uh, there's a track jig for putting the track together. So it might be a little bit easier. Well, I don't know. We'll have a look. We'll see. I don't know why they put these tiny little things. Look, with half half a jerry can on it. I mean, what is the point in that? Come on. Unnecessary. One little sp tiny sprue with tracks on it when you've got a bag of tracks over there. I don't know, don't ask me. Now what I do when I've got sprues that are the same uh, number is I tie them together. It's a bit geeky, I know, yeah, I can, I can dig that. But that's what I do anyway. They're both the same. I don't know what they are, they look very fragile, but it is what it is. So we've got a jumbo, this is actually two sprues, uh, I did separate the others, I don't know why I didn't separate that, two different sprues anyway, some more engine stuff on that one, some more fan belt malarkey, fan covers, more exhaust pipes and general pipage. You can see it's going to be one of those, yeah. <clears throat> There's another one, two the same that I've tied together. More engine stuff. Those are those are the fake torsion bar suspension. Uh, Malarkey. There's some more on that one. Some more of the fake torsion that just clips in. There's no bars to push through or anything. Clips in, glues in. You name it. Let's get these up. More of the gun breach, I believe. The main gun. slide moulded stuff there another teeny tiny little sprue with the tools on hammer there, axe fire extinguisher, another crowbar some more cutters, shovels, spades barrel cleaning rods, crank handle there you go bit of the uh, superstructure now, the lid as I call it and those uh, air intakes whatever they are that go on the side some more of the uh, front armour plates with all the bolted on detail nice, 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 nice Lots of detail on there for all the detail geeks. Side fenders with the anti slip on it. Can you see that? Is that close enough? I've got a hose to look, I mean, why are those things so small? You know they're going to break when you cut them off. It gives me a headache even thinking about it. Uh, drive sprockets tied together to the same number sprue. 
put I don't know why they couldn't put all these on a big one I really don't understand is it just to make it look impressive with so many sprues who knows look tiny little jerry can I mean didn't we have an even smaller one than that with one jerry can on it just now I believe we did alright so we've got some more uh, business tiny little business here all tied together all the same names F F F F I even forgot to put a tab on that I must have got so bored of it all who knows what this is and why they're on such tiny little sprues oh they're the side uh, fender supports there the round ones not the pressed ones uh, what else have we got let's get a nice big bundle of these oh look <coughs> we have wheels friends and it's got some text on it wheels there and we've got machine gun on that little tiny machine gun action going on and I guess mask canisters no, can't see ain't got my glasses on now we've got all these here which are tied all together they're the shells one two three four five six with one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirty fourteen shells on each times six you work it out I'm used to mental arithmetic I need a calculator and that's the shells <coughs> some more return roller action going on there very small I don't understand why these sprues are like that why why couldn't they have all gone on one bigger one answers on a postcard nice road wheels I believe one two three four little tiny ones self-explanatory really it has got text on it I don't know if you can see it in this video but I'll get as close as I can you may or may not be able to read it road wheels a couple more little small ones here we've got muzzle brakes one two three four there I'm assuming they might be different ones. I don't know why they would put four on for one gun. I'm guessing they give you a choice. Maybe each uh, different version of the colour for it. Maybe each one has a different muzzle brake. Who knows? That's part of the man clip. Another big sprue with the sides. We're onto the lower hole now. Nice detail on there. And lower hole, the bottom of the lower hole, firewall, etc. etc. Final drive covers, and there's the opposite side. Nice detail again as you'd expect from Mini Art so that's a lower hole some more lower hole malarkey
nice detail and there's the back side or the rear whatever you want to call it another big sprue this is all one again this looks like a lot of uh, the engine block or the transmission whatever it is pipes wheels I think that's for the uh, ammo storage in that ammo storage lots of parts some more uh, fantastic detail on it that's the lid, the roof there's the MG I did look at that earlier and I wasn't really that impressed with it close up but it might look better when it's painted the bolt on armour all that so now onto the figures, you get five figures with it Let's have a little looky looky. Nice detail. There's the heads, the helmet, the MG, the arms, the legs. Nice detail again. More legs. More heads. I've got some hornet heads, I could po possibly change them. If uh, I don't like the look of them. Some more MG, some helmets, soft cap. good detail on there for sure so that's it boys and girls we're all sprued out that's going to be a, a hopefully my head's in a better place at the moment hopefully it don't stress me out it's a uh, it's just a Obviously there's some sort of skill involved in um, working out all the different sub-assemblies, what to paint this time, what to paint that time. And I, when I had that Panzer IV I was just getting so stressed out with having to open paint to paint this tiny little bit. I think there was t either 10 or 12 different colours just on the engine and the Panzer IV. But uh, I know what to expect now, so I've got it anyway. It's the year of the Stug, by the way, for me. It's the year of the Stug, and uh, I'm going to show you why. So, I sort of kind of started developing a little bit of an obsession with the Stug. And uh, my friend Matthew, <laughs> from Down Under, uh has also got an obsession with the Stug, I think. So I sort of fed off of his obsession and uh, it's been growing every, ever since. So I finished this dragon last year. finished this last year and I really enjoyed it, it went together nicely I had big big trouble with the tracks, it came with magic tracks I've seen so many videos on how to put them together but I just could not get them you know, lay, I laid them out 
put a metal ruler down, tape that, lay them all out so it was all nice and straight then come along with the extra thin not too much otherwise they won't bend and every time I tried to bend them around the road wheels and the sprocket they just kept falling apart so I shelved it for a little while because I've got the arsehole with it basically but then um, I've got some frills uh, and I was having trouble with them which turned out to be that I had the wrong drill bit in because if you've got frills you know that you have to drill the holes out with a tiny tiny little drill bit well that has to be HSS drill bit but I didn't have an HSS drill bit in it and I didn't realise so I was having all kinds of trouble drilling the holes out, the tracks were bending, breaking, it was taking five minutes to drill one side out. So they went on the side and then I spoke to my good buddy from Dallas, Matthew, who said, oh, I might have a set of plastic tracks. To see. And you all said, I'll have them because it's driving me around a twist. So there are plastic tracks on there anyway, which haven't come out too bad, I don't think. So, that's the story behind that little thing. Then I've got this little teeny tiny stug that fits in the palm of your hand and I built that. I love it. I think it's Airfix or Matchbox, one of them, but it was from the 70s. So, I've built that. Painted it, decorated it, weathered it. I love it. It's so light. If a gust of wind came, it would blow it out the window. So that's the little teeny tiny stug. So that's kind of got me on my path that I'm on today. And now I've got I've just shown you the mini art which I've just uh, received. And I've got the other stug kits that I've got. And I've just realised that I've got quite a few. So it's going to be the year of the stug this year. I'm going to build as many stug kits as I can. I love these old vintage ones from the 70s and the 80s. Pick this one up. A 172. So I've got that. And I've also got this one. In my collection. As you can see, another old kit, and I got the old faithful Tamiya with the Rico sticker on it. Apparently, they used to be the sole distributor in the UK years ago. The old Tamiya with the Rico sticker on that, and then I got this Academy kit. And I've got this Bandai, Bandai, 148, oh they're getting in the way now, Bandai, 148, very nice vintage kit, oh no, the evil swastika, we'll have the YouTube police on us. And I got this, another oldie worldie kit from Monogram. Nice. Skill level two that suits me down to the ground. The old Monogram. And finally. I picked up this CMK which I believe means Czech Model Kings correct me if I'm wrong and it's got a finished version on the back as well so I might build that I've never done one of those 
but that's uh, an old CMK. And look at what it says on the side, look. For adult modellers only. Ooh. Sal Cop. And a finished version, I think. So that's my little stack of Stugs, so to speak. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, plus the Mini Art one, eight. Plus, <laughs> not only, but also, another old Revel kit that I'm working on at the moment, which is this, an F8. And it's going to be in winter camo. Wheels are done. Blah, blah, blah. I was just testing out the... Uh, Chipping different chipping solutions on the bottom there. See which one I wanted to go with. So that's an F8. This is from the 95 or 96, I think. And the decals were so brittle. Um, it should have had a red F on the front, but that just completely disintegrated. And the unit uh, badges on the side there. Both sides have got bits ripped off of them because they, as soon as I tried to slide them off the paper, they just disintegrated. So that's where we're at with that. That's ready to start getting its winter camo on it. So there you can see why I've named this year the year of the Stug. All these, I mean, I've got no chance of getting all them done, but I'll do as many as I can. And uh, we'll see where that goes. So take care, my friends. Model on. And remember, be nice to each other. Take care. See you in a bit.